Good afternoon, Saitlanders. How are you? I say good afternoon, uh, but I'm probably going to publish this video tomorrow, Thursday, the 12th of January. Um, the time now is just approaching four o'clock on Wednesday, the 11th of January. I said in the previous video, the one that will appear tonight, the night before you see this video, that I would make a quick follow-on after talking at some length about Vladimir Putin's speech of the 7th of January. Because I had concluded saying that we should be prepared for terrible events in 2023, even if Vladimir Putin doesn't drop the bomb, even if the contents of that speech didn't really mean that he is about to take drastic action, and that it was more the words of an exasperated parent on the verge of dishing out a hiding, but not having dished out a hiding, a proper hiding yet. Excuse me. And there's going to be, I must forewarn you, there's going to be a bit more of that. I'm trying to take it easy on my voice because I may or may not have a foreign interview this evening in a few hours' time. Nicolene and I can't make head or tail of what the guys in the USA are saying because they're saying very clearly two things that are contradictory. We've given up asking, so I'm just going to go into it cold and see what happens. Anyway, I said that I would produce a follow-up video on a slightly related topic. Slightly related to uh, the theme of my last words in the previous video, namely, terrible events in 2023. This morning... I read that the Bureau of Labor Statistics in the USA has revealed officially that the price of vegetables in the USA went up 38.1% in the month of November alone. It's a phenomenal figure. Now, there are two things to say by way of mitigation and aggravation. Let's first begin with the mitigation. It could be argued that that is partly because of seasonal fluctuations. It could be argued that it is partly because, and we know this, of the knock-on effects, the cascade effects, the domino effects of some planting problems due to weather in the USA a year and more ago. But everybody, all observers, all of the analysts, all of the commentators, and I looked at a, a, a few of their observations on this statistic, know very well, understand very well, that those mitigating factors are only partial contributors to this phenomenal consumer price increase. The aggravating consideration is that all U.S. agencies are notorious for understating inflation. So much so that the official means of measuring inflation in the USA is false. It's absolutely false. It measures a portion of some inflation. And it excludes all sorts of things, like certain workers. Well, the, the, their wage increases just don't count. Um, certain industries, certain economic sectors, certain commercial endeavors just don't get included. Because they are inconvenient statistics, typically, year in and year out, since forever. 
time. And that's why, and I'm, I'm going to make up numbers here. I don't know the true numbers. If you took all of the, pl the inflation between, let's say, 1972 or 1973 and the end of 2022, that 50-year period, U.S. official inflation figures, it might come to a cumulative total. In fact, it's called compound. Compounded total or compounding total of, let's say, 500%. <clears throat> but if you examine the actual purchasing power of the US dollar over the same period, if you go back and look, how much did it cost to buy a, a bottle of rosé wine? How much did it cost 50 years ago to buy a box of cigarettes? How much did it cost to buy a box of post toasties for your morning breakfast? You will soon discover that the true inflation is something like 850%. All things taken into account. Okay. So... Most people would say to you that the 38.1% statistics, statistic, notwithstanding the mitigating considerations, is on balance probably higher. And as I said to you that I'd like this video to be brief for the sake of my voice and this evening's interview or non-interview. <coughs> The point here is, guys, this food shortage, food hyperinflation thing that I've been banging on about since March of 2000 and I've lost track now. March of 2021. We're in 23, 22, 21. Oh, dear me is looking to be on the threshold of our hearth and home. If the price of vegetables Notwithstanding too much snow, too little snow, early rains, late rains. Remember that the USA is a big, 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 big place. Texas is about half the size of South Africa. So Texas and Arizona, just two of the USA's 50 states. Or about the size of South Africa. Which is not to say that the USA is 25 times the size of South Africa. <clears throat> Far from it. But it might be 10 or 12. So it's a long way. It's a big place. It's a large area. There are numerous ecosystems. Too much rain to... That's in a certain region or two regions or three out of, say, 30 growing regions in the USA. <clears throat> the simple reality is, all excuses aside, a 38.1% increase just in the price of vegetables just in one month in the USA is staggering. Absolutely staggering. And here endeth the lesson for today. I'm not going to prolong this lecture. Let it suffice to say that as we have seen the, the torching, the arson of many food production facilities across the world over the past two years, likewise of many uh, 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 fertilizer production facilities across the world over the past two years, 18 months, two years. 
And as we've reported on that, as we've reported on the Chinese scooping up something like 70% 70 of all of the world's grain, hoarding it outside of its food chains, hoarded, stockpiled one side. As we've reported on all of this, so too we report today on this this one salient thing. We could talk about it every day. There's a, cha there's a channel on YouTube called Epic Economist that reports on this every single day. There is a channel on um, Telegram called Ice Age Farmer that reports on this every single day. We could do the same. We choose not to because it becomes tedious for you. But here we report a salient illustration of this thing that is coming. Forewarned is forearmed, as we say in English. Thank you very much for watching this video. May God bless and keep you and yours through the dim, dim year that it appears 2023 shall be. Bye-bye.